Hello and welcome to Droix. We are checking out the brand new Minis Forum Desk Mini UM350 Mini PC today. We will unbox it, then take a closer look at the features and run some system and games benchmarks to see its performance. Let's get started with the unboxing. Inside we have a user manual which is in multiple languages including English, Chinese and German. We have the Minis Forum UM350 mini computer which we will take a closer look at shortly. There is a power supply, we will include the correct adapter for your country. Next we have a HDMI and DisplayPort cable which is used for connecting to your TV or monitor. There is a SATA drive connector and screws for when installing your 2.5 inch R drive or SSD. And last but not least there is a visa mount and screws for attaching the mini PC to your monitor or TV. The Minis Forum UM350 measures around 5x5x2 by 5 by inches and weighs around 500 grams. On the front is a USB Type-C Gen 2 port, two USB 3 ports and a 3.5mm headphone jack. On the back are two USB 3 ports. For video output there are HDMI and DisplayPort. You can also use the Type-C port for up to triple monitor support. And last but not least there is a 2.5G Ethernet port for fast data transfer. Upgrading the UM350 is a breeze. Simply press down on the two front corners to unlock the lid and it can be lifted up. The RAM and SSD can be upgraded if you wish to. There is also space inside for a 2.5 inch R drive or SSD which can be fixed to the lid with the included screws and SATA connector. Let's take a brief look at the UM350 tech specs whilst comparing them to the older UM250 model. The UM350 has the AMD Ryzen 5 3550H processor with 4 cores and 8 threads running up to 3.7GHz. It has the Radeon Vega 8 graphics running up to 1200 MHz. Depending on the configuration, you have a choice of 8, 16 or 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM and a choice of 256, 512 or 1TB M.2 PCIe SSD. For wireless connectivity, there is Wi-Fi 5 and Bluetooth 4.2 which, despite being a downgrade from the older model, is still sufficient for most users' requirements. We start the benchmarks with Passmark, which pushes the CPU, GPU, RAM and storage to the maximum to see their peak performance. We are running at 4K resolution. The Minis Forum Desk Mini UM350 scores 3027. We get around average scores for the CPU, GPU and RAM and high scores for the storage speed. PCMark performs a series of benchmarks on more day-to-day -day tasks. These include web browsing performance, media consumption, loading and saving large office documents as well as image editing. The Minis Forum UM350 scores 3748. Looking close at the categories, we can see high performance in the Essentials tests. These include tests such as boot speed and software loading times. The Productivity category scores very well, with great performance when working with Office documents for example. Digital content creation is a little low. These are for tasks such as image and video editing. The 3D Mark Benchmark software tests the CPU and GPU running together for their performance. This is not just for gaming, but also for video decoding, right through to working with video editing for example. The UM350 mini computer scores 755. We do find that AMD processors are generally lower scoring in this test than their Intel counterparts but do have better scores in some games for example. The Minis Forum Desk Mini UM350 is very capable of playing 4K media. 
We are playing a 4K test video on a 4K monitor and did not experience any frame drops or decoding issues. We start the game in benchmarks with Forza Horizon 5 running at 1280x720 on the very low graphics settings. The Minis Forum UM350 scores a very good 45 frames per second. You could either increase the graphics settings a little or keep it locked at 30 FPS for stable gameplay. Next we are running Street Fighter 5 benchmark at 1280 x 720 on the maximum graphics settings. We run the first match and see the average frames per second at the end of it. The UM350 scores 40.09 frames per second. By lowering the graphics to medium, you can enjoy a stable 60 frames per second. For the Final Fantasy XIV benchmark, we are running at 1280 x 720 on the maximum graphics settings. We get a score of 3617 with a slightly low rating. It is a good score and by lowering the graphic settings you can get a solid 60 frames per second. In our final test we are running Shadow of the Tomb Raider at 1280x720 on the lowest graphic settings. The Minis Forum Desmini UM350 scores a very respectable 35 frames per second. This is a demanding game and we were actually expecting lower. You can lock the frame rate to 30 FPS and play it, though you may get some frame drops in busy scenes. Let's take a brief look at the UM350 benchmark results compared with the UM250. Windows 11 is not supported on the UM250, while it is on the UM350. It is an important feature in terms of future proofing. The Minis Forum UM350 overall scores very well, with percent differences over the UM250 ranging from 5% to just under 15. For the system benchmarks, we saw that it excels at day-to-day -day tasks, either working from home or in the office. It does, however, fall a little behind in digital content creation, such as video editing. While not a gaming mini PC, the UM350 does quite well with great scores on AAA games such as Forza Horizon 5 and Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Keeping in mind that we run these tests on the highest graphic settings, many of them are playable simply by lowering them. The Minis Forum Desk Mini UM350 is great as a home or office mini PC that will reliably perform in your day to day tasks from web browsing to working with demanding software. It has plenty of RAM and storage space and can be upgraded with an internal drive if required. With the AMD Ryzen 5 CPU, it also means you can play AAA games at lower graphics quality and resolution. And for less demanding games, you can go at higher settings. If you have the older UM250 model, it is definitely worth considering upgrading for the performance increase. That wraps up our review of the Minis Forum Desk Mini UM350. We hope you have found it useful. You can learn more and buy the UM350 on our site at joyx.net. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with our latest videos. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you in the next one.